Welcome to the .NET Monthly Roundup for September 2023. I'm John Galloway, and I'll bring you all the highlights in just three minutes. Let's start with .NET 8 updates. We have .NET 8 RC1 out, which is amazing. It includes some cool stuff, including system text JSON. And also there's a supplemental post that goes deeper into some of the API things in system text JSON, as well as source generator improvements and some cool size reductions. From EF core in this release, we have updates for complex types as value objects. So that allows you to have, in this case, we have an address that's owned by both a customer and an order. And then those things are actually saved into fields in those customer and order uh, tables. Pretty cool. From ASP.NET, a lot of good stuff, uh, including, of course, a bunch of Blazor things, as well as uh, support for keyed services and minimal APIs and MVC. Uh, so very nice. Uh, we have uh, updated React TypeScript spa templates. I'm excited about these, partly because of the improved performance from Vite. Uh, we have a blog post series kicking off from Rich Lander. So some neat things here, he's talking about API design. And you'll see here the example spectrum between the um, the control versus convenience. So looking into how we pick and design the APIs to give you what you want for different cases. Uh, this amazing post comes out once a year. It's that time. It's, it's Stephen Tobe's uh, performance improvements post. So this thing, if you print it out, it's over 200 pages of amazing information, including benchmark code. You can run and test this out yourself. There's also some cool posts from community. Uh, this one from Rico going through and summarizing some of the different sections and then linking back to the original post. Stephen wasn't tired out after that other post apparently, and here he wrote this one on uh, retrieval augmented generation in .NET. So here he's augmenting uh, generative AI results by feeding in a different information. So here he feeds in the uh, .NET 7 performance post and then uses that to augment the AI results. Really cool stuff. In community, we have uh, a collaboration between Free Code Camp and the Microsoft Learn team to release a free C Sharp certification. So Quincy blogs about it, and then Katie is blogging about a free video series where you can go through and walk through that certification process with experts. We have this always useful monthly uh, newsletter from the .NET Foundation talking about project updates and upcoming events. Uh, there's the JetBrains.net day with some amazing videos that you can watch from community. And we've got coming up November 14th through 16th, we have the release of .NET 8 at .NET Conf. So that is November 14th through 16th. Don't miss it. <laughs> 